baking mix is vegan, gluten-free, and kosher friendly and has ingredients that you can easily recognize. The shelf life is about a year. You only need three ingredients for it. Three tablespoons of melted salted butter or vegetable oil, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of milk. It was about $5 to purchase at Trader Joe's. Comes in this packet with these perforated edges where you can just rip it open. Did you know that the chocolate chip cookie was actually invented by accident? The invention of the chocolate chip cookie happened in 1930 when Ruth Gray's Wakefield and her husband Kenneth were running the Toll House Inn on Route 18 near Whitman, Massachusetts. Mrs. Wakefield, a dietitian and food lecturer, prepared all the foods for the guests at the inn and had gained an invaluable local reputation for her impressive range of desserts. One night, Ruth decided to whip up a batch of chocolate butter drop dew cookies, a popular old colonial recipe to serve to her guests. But as she started to bake, Ruth discovered she was out of baker's chocolate. Ruth then chopped up a block of Nestle semi-sweet chocolate that had been given to her by Andrew Nestle of the Nestle Company. Ruth had expected the chocolate to melt and disperse through the cookie dough as regular baking chocolate would. Instead, the chocolate pieces retained their individual form, softening to a moist, gooey melt, and the world had its first known chocolate chip cookie. These original chocolate chip cookies proved to be such a scrumptious success that Ruth had no choice but to repeat the recipe. She called her new invention the Chocolate Crunch Cookie and published the recipe in several Boston and New England newspapers. When Ruth's chocolate crunch cookie recipe was featured on an episode of the Betty Crocker Cooking School of the Air radio program, the popularity of the humble chocolate chip cookie exploded and the cookie soon became a favorite all across America. So as you can see, adding the peanut butter into the mix was not without its own issues. It made the dough really sticky and hard to manage, but I figured it out obviously and it was worth it in the end because they came out absolutely delicious. They're almost ready. Then I got these to put in. They're already kind of melting to the pan a little bit. Wow, they're fluffy. Look at that. My cookies are done. Here we have my cookies. They are done. As you can see, I've already had a couple. They are soft. Very soft. There's the inside. I added peanut butter and extra chocolate chips. Highly recommend. I'm gonna save these and enjoy them throughout the week. So I just want to share my final thoughts on these cookies. To start, I wanted to talk about price. It seems a bit expensive, but comparable to other cookies that I've had, it's priced appropriately. For example, Betty Crocker cookies are available at Target for $1.99 and they do require two other ingredients, egg and butter. However, they are not vegan. Uh, also, Pillsbury cookies are also not vegan and they're $2.69 for 12 big cookies, also at Target, and they only require you to preheat your oven and stick them in. I'm not gonna lie, I used to tear those up before I was vegan. I loved Pillsbury dough cookies. Um, but the Trader Joe's cookies are double in price. But unlike the first two cookies I mentioned, they are vegan and contain easy to understand ingredients. Similarly, a vegan bakery I go to in San Antonio, Texas offers vegan chocolate chip cookies for $2.50 each. When you look at the pricing of the cookies from that perspective, it is reasonable. 
It is unfortunate that vegan food does seem to be overall more expensive than foods that contain animals or animal byproducts, but I will definitely be purchasing these cookies again. And at the time that I filmed this video, I had already purchased these cookies on three other occasions. Since filming and posting this video, I've purchased these cookies two more times. Next, I wanted to talk about preparation. The instructions are easy to understand and follow. The recipe is also customizable, as you can see, since I added the extra chocolate chips and the peanut butter. Let me know if you end up adding any ingredients of your own so I can also try it and check it out. I'm unsure if the peanut butter made the dough really sticky, but the dough was harder to manage than normal, so I'm gonna presume that was the reason. However, the cookies still came out good when baked in the oven. And third, I wanted to talk about wait time. These cookies cook up in about the same time frame as the aforementioned Betty Crocker and Pillsbury cookies, so there's no issues there. Have you tried these cookies before? If not, will you be trying them now that I made this video or not? Let me know in the comments, and again, if you have not already, please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Also, follow me on TikTok. I post vegan-related food and lifestyle content in San Antonio, Texas, and I will see you next Sunday.